Hey guys, what's up? It's Indie Bob Bat Luke Pants, and guess who's back? Uh, Indie Bob Bat Luke Pants, that's who's back. <laughs> and we're, but we're back with Star Wars Battlefront 2! Fuck yeah! Fucking got that trailer finished finally, jeez. Oh, it only took like 500 years, but uh, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be uh, April by the time this goes up. We'll see how it goes, but uh, if you're watching this on April, depending on if, whether or not you're watching this on April, uh, April is sci fi month! Sci fi month! Sci fi month! That's sci fi month. Alright, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we are. Oh man, oh man, I'm so excited to play this. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, better than 1. Uh, I love Battlefront 1 a lot, but I love Battlefront 2 even more. It's just so much, it's just such a better game and it's just so much fun to play. Just, damn, just. Yeah, I, I, honestly, obviously you can see everything that's been new added here just from this from this demo screen here. We got uh, we can we just more refined gameplay physics, fighting as a Jedi, fighting in space, fighting a lot, of, you know, a whole bunch of new vehicles, friggin' new looks, new appearances, new everything, new planets, new, new just new everything. Oh yeah, fucking Obi Wan versus Anakin. Oh man, I can't wait. <laughs> cool guys, don't look at explosion. But yeah. Oh, you can't wait! Ugh. Okay, so basically, yeah, we're gonna do basically the same thing as we did uh, last, oh man, Order 66. Yeah, we're basically gonna be doing the same thing that we did, uh, oh shit, the big boy himself. But yeah, <laughs> I keep talking to everything that's happening. But uh, yeah, we're gonna basically do what we did last time and uh, do the campaign first, which actually is a campaign this time. Um, Actually, gonna is gonna be a proper uh, histor well, not historical campaign, but there actually is gonna be a proper like story mode to this, like an original story where we follow the 501st Legion uh, and and their rise to, and their rise in the Empire as Vader's fists, and uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, then we're, we're gonna do that first. Uh, it shouldn't take as long as the other one. It shouldn't be as hard either, <laughs> even on normal difficulty. Even though we're actually going to be doing it on the highest difficulty this time, which is elite mode. There's only two difficulties: normal and elite mode. And um, yeah, the, and then after that, we're going to do the Galactic Conquest, which actually might take longer than the Galactic Conquest uh, in this, um, in the, in in ba and then in Battlefront One, which is going to be. I'm prepared for it. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to how how I'm going to like tackle that in terms of pacing and all that. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go too overly long. It's probably going to though. But uh, I'm just letting these. Oh damn! I'm just letting this run because we might as well. We might as well show it because we're not gonna. Probably not gonna see it anytime, any other time. Oh shit! But man, am I excited for this game? All right, now that we've seen all that. All right, <laughs> enough rambling. Oh wait, we might need. We might actually have to censor something here. All right, so we're gonna create a thing because uh, uh, my I would use my other profiles, but one. Uh, it'd be too OP, because I have certain awards, uh, in play, which might make it just a tad bit unfair. And by unfair, I'd just make it a little more, just make me a little more powerful than I need to be, which I, I wouldn't mind if I was a little more powerful than I need to be. <laughs> even though I'm good, even though I'm better at this game than I used to be, but, uh, now nah, but, we'll just, but it's also because, like, my name, my real name's on there, so I might as well, I might as well go by my, uh, online ID, in Battlefront 2 at least. This is so what you see here is basically my uh, who I go by as in uh oh shit oh hold on no don't tell me you can't you mean to tell me that I can't fit fucking Bal Freak two in there but I can in the other one Bal Freak oh shit oh no it's just Bal Freak it's just Bal Free a oh man that's the problem here we'll, we'll do this. We'll take out the vowels because we're cool like that. That's the T. Battle. Where the fuck? <laughs> it's, it's, it's the exact same. It's the exact same position, but it's just friggin'. <laughs> I, I still can't even see the find it. Uh, battle free. Two symbols. Let's circle for symbols. Battle free two. <laughs> that's just gonna. That's just what we're gonna have to work with, I guess. Yeah, it looks weird, but. <laughs> Uh, you know, might as, might as well make use of the characters. Battle Freak 2 with two exclamation marks. Freak yeah! Normal. Elite. We're going elite. Yeah, I'll save it. <laughs> That's gonna look so weird. Oh, man. Well, yeah. That's... I, I go by Battle... In case you weren't aware, 
uh, I think I think it's in, actually in the description of my YouTube channel. Uh, I do go by Bal Balfreak too, because uh, I actually have the. Let me tell you a story about this game. But first, we're gonna actually let's go to options. <laughs> Wait, this is this is the longest Star Trek project ever. Oh, okay, so we, that's the most important third person. Uh, auto target off, aim assist off. We don't need that. The 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 auto target and the aim assist actually work in this when it's off. And by that I mean it doesn't actually aim assist, which is good. I'm gonna do that because I like having that. Uh, yeah, I just put the elite tool tips on auto. Jig tools on. Okay, auto options. Oh, man, we cranking it up. <laughs> Crank up that copyright. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, the control should be fine. Credits, career stats. Oh man, look at this. This this, this can only go up. Oh man, this, 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 there's a lot more depth to this game than there is in the first one. But uh. Yeah, and just a lot more everything. I love it so much. Battlefield 2 already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? Yes. But yeah, uh, let me tell you a story about this game. So, we played the shit out of this game uh, when we were kids, obviously, me and my brother, and uh, we just had just the, the blast. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the space over here. Might as well show this. This will just be the part, the the introductory part, I guess. I'll tell the story after this. Welcome to space combat training, cadet. If you hope to return in one piece, you'd better know the basics of starfighter control. Your cruiser is under attack. Jump into any starfighter and launch from a hangar. Use the throttle to accelerate through space, or to slow down as you approach a hangar. Time is of the essence, so all ships are equipped with a boost for a burst of speed. Don't let the enemy get away. Activate target tracking to follow their movements. They can run, but they can't hide. But then ships, the distance they can't indicator will tell you how far away the enemy is and whether they're above or below you. Clever pilots always lock on to the enemy. Missiles will seek a locked target. This is the best way to dispatch your foe. Ooh. Use bombers wisely to disable enemy shields and other hard targets along the exterior. Land in the enemy hangar to attack where they're most vulnerable. Take them by surprise by bringing a squad of reinforcements in your transport. That's always fun. Your snub fighters are no match for the might of a fully armed capital ship. Crafty pilots will even the odds with a bit of sabotage. Strike the key systems from within. A time bomb or rocket will make short work of those targets. Now you know what it takes to survive in space. For further instruction in the cockpit and a taste of real combat, play Rise of the Empire. Good luck, cadet, and may the force be with you. Yeah. I like how it's, it's very clearly a rebel announcer, but he's like, play Rise of the Empire, you know, the bad guys. <laughs> but yeah, oh, hold on, let me do a quick sync. Uh, space overview, training, space overview, training, space overview, training. There we go. Future me is gonna be pissed when he hears this back and he has to sync this, like, eight minutes into the video. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so, <laughs> about that story. Yeah, we played the shit out of this game when we were younger on PS2. Oh, by the way, this is the PS2 version. <laughs> In case that wasn't obvious. Uh, <laughs> Also, the same, pretty much the same thing on Xbox and... Actually, it's not on GameCube. Uh, basically, same thing uh, on Xbox, original Xbox and PC and PSP, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, we, um, we essentially did... Yeah, but I'll, I'll go over and do training. Basically, the first mission of the campaign is training. Even though it's technically not counted as one. Attack the Clones, the Grand Army of the Republic, is making its debut on the plains of Geonosis. Leading the way are the troopers of the 501st Legion, learn the basics of units, weapons, and mission objectives, while trying to survive the 501st's first forays into combat. Alright, man. I'm actually kind of glad that it does load slow compared to the PC version, because if your PC is good, it actually loads pretty fast. So, I'm very grateful that it doesn't load too fast, but these last two bubbles will be filled pretty quickly. Alright, here we go. I love this. Five My first day as a member of the 501st, it was hot, it was sandy, chaotic. Nothing at all like the simulations on Camino. Of course, that's pretty much the way it was for all of us, wasn't it? All that breeding, all those years of training, it doesn't really prepare you for all the screaming or the blood, does it? Frankly, I'm still amazed we ever made it through the first hour. Never mind the first day. Oh, man. Oh, man, it's... Oh boy, if I want I want tomorrow Morrison to read me bedtime stories tonight, man. Dude's got a voice of an angel. Also, it, I love it. it, oh, it just it, this is so nostalgic. It feels so it feels so different, but it feels so the same. But it's it's perfect in a way. All right, oh baby, here we go. Let's do this. So, oh, I'm so excited. Your simulation days are over, trooper. This is a real battle, and if you mess up, you'll really end up in a world of pain. 
Now get out there. Yes, sir. Some activity has been reported in the vicinity of Checkpoint Alpha. Get there and secure the area. What is that? Also, I just know. Also, we can sprint now. We can also roll forward. We can also. We can't roll backward. I'm like about the new Battlefront 2. Which is actually one thing I do appreciate from the new Battlefront 2. But, uh, oh, dude, there's a turret here. That's cool. No, too bad we can't repair it. Not just yet, at least. Oh, boy. One. <laughs> world of pain, you say? One. One lone trooper against an army of a thousand dudes. I wouldn't have any. any I wouldn't have it any other way. I am one with the force, and the force is with me! Let's do it! Droid scouts have been detected in the area. Where? Take them out before they can report our position. Destroy them with destroy them with your primary weapons. I want to fire an R2 to switch to primary weapons. Oh man. Oh boy. Please don't get hit by wrist. Oh yeah, headshot. Fort, the fort symbol means a headshot. Watch them wrist. Watch those wrist rockets. Just like the simulation, baby. Come on. <laughs> These are droid scouts. These are fucking super bad droids. Even though they're like the primary unit, which is pretty funny. Let's hope those scouts didn't get word back to their army. Now, finish off that damaged Hellfire droid using your thermal detonators. Watch that. Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a cool guy. Throw a grenade. Throw a thermal detonator. I say, oh, man. Oh, well, it's still ahead. That's good. It, 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 the, grenade, the thermal detonators can actually stick, so there's no concussion grenades this time. But uh, I'm gonna just go for the sweet spot right there. R3 to aim. Yeah, shoot with the blaster because I'm a badass. But the droid Down is to reload. This way. Capture the down techno union ship to secure a stronger foothold for our troops. Oh baby, it's time to capture the command post. Go, cr go crouch. We can't go prone in this. I have to stand in the light when I capture a CP. Oh, that's right. There's usually spawn some on the side. Here, here we go. Troops need health and ammo. Go to the down oh, techno union ship and switch to the engineer class at the command post there. Roger that. Okay, so yeah, this is a new thing in this game. We can switch on the fly. Through command posts. Good. Oh man. Now use your fusion cutter to repair the health and ammo droid. Watch that. So that so attack so this is actually a secondary primary weapon instead of using an a, like a solid primary weapon. Oh yeah, headshot with the shotgun, baby. That's how we do it. So yeah, we actually have to equip it. Boom! Oh, I want that. Repair Fair health and ammo droids, even though there's one right there. <laughs> Ow! Oh! Get in the thing! <laughs> CIS have sent in a column of spider walkers. Get to the ATT E clone and make it fast. Yeah, man, I'm trying to. I gotta live. Oh shit! Now take one Fuck you guys! <laughs> I do some Use the ATT to take out one of the spire. We just had to take out one. All right. They're gonna spawn any minute now. There we go. So now we can. Aim the, so the tanks are a lot better in this now. At least against the tanks, because we actually have the little, little secondary weapons that we can just. Oh, bring the linkage in the legs. That's where the critical hit is. All right, we out of here. Oh my god! I don't die. Oh. Switch to the jet trooper class. Show objective details. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> change the unit, ch uh, change the unit class to jet trooper, and yeah. Alright, so I didn't, need, I didn't need to do that, but we can now we can do the jet trooper. It's it's kind of weird. The order is well, just for this mission, the order is kind of mixed up there. But uh, now you yeah, jump jets now. To get up there and I should go. That holocron and bring it back to checkpoint Alpha. Who knows what secrets it might hold? Watch that. Alright, so yeah, same basic jet trooper controls. We're just gonna wait though, because I'm kind of scared. And here we go. We are gonna need. Okay. So one thing about so this is basically a capture the flag kind of system right here. Uh, one thing to note: Jedi. Uh, since you can play as Jedi in this, and the Jet Trooper and the Dark Trooper, anyone with flight abilities uh, cannot use their flight abilities while holding a flag. Get up there and take over that post. It will give us a strong vantage point on the battlefield. After that, okay. This one I might actually die in because it's a little hard. And also, we're on Elite, so it's gonna be a little harder than sh than usual. So, oh boy. Here, here they come! It's actually an explosion now. But we got a commando pistol, baby! Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Told you I'd die. But, we can make it. Especially since we can use the ATT as a spawn point. Classic spawn point. Alright. Let's see. Let's. Once more, what's feeling? Maybe it's a little too close. Ah, my leg! You see it? My leg's coming up! My leg! Oh boy. Fuck you! Yeah! Headshots, headshots! Ah, oh, fuck! Maybe elite mode was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm just rusty. That's all it is. It's cool. I'll get better. Definitely better than Battlefront 1. Funk! Get some! Heck yeah, they'll still come here. Because technically, in the actual map, the CP is in there. But uh, this is the campaign, so. Oh, boy. Alright, 
Now we get ready to switch again. Snipers to pick off some droids and help thin out the CIS forces. Grab a sniper rifle and take out some droids. Oh yeah. All right. Now this. Oh boy. No. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Well, this is. Uh, this this would be a good vantage point if I didn't already need to. Oh my god. Your ass needs to go. You son of a bitch. You can't just run for me. Don't you run for me. Yeah. That would be a good vantage point if I did. <laughs> no, let's just respawn. <laughs> that wouldn't. Be, that would be a good vantage point if I didn't already need to be up at the CP later anyway. So, fuck. Oh man, <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> God damn it. All right. You also noticed that there's no technically re a reinforcement count because it's a campaign. Uh, we have to take out droids and empty oceans as much as I would love to. Boom. I'm gonna take it out anyway. Come on. There we go. My leg. On move. It's easy to get him on the cannons because he'll be stuck on the cannons. When all right, here we go. He just he just set himself up for failure. Maybe. Spider Walker, just make it easy for me. Damn it. You can double scope no matter what with any class now. This is a little more balanced. I'm, you know what's imba unbalanced though? My fucking aiming. <laughs> right, this one for sure. Uh, yeah, it took him out real good. Get to a CP and switch to the heavy trooper class. Oh yeah! Now take your rocket launcher and give one of those spiders a taste of some heavy fire. Oh yeah! All right, we gotta take that one out. Hopefully they don't take it out for me. There's two of them, so so we do have the locking system too. So oh yeah, but we don't need it because it can probably it's probably not gonna go for the actual critical hit point. But uh oh, oh I, didn't, I didn't get the critical hit. Gotta, just make sure you go back to that uh, ammo trade to get the ammo. Oh yeah! Master Windu has arrived on the battlefield. Yes! A lightsaber will come in handy against these droids. Let's knock down the CIS reinforcements a bit. Oh yeah, baby! It's Jedi time! Mace Windu! Where am I? Here we go. Hey! Oh, dude! Fucking best aerial attack. All right, so same controls, pretty much. Just attack with R1. We can do L1 press saber throw. Didn't hit anything, but that's fine. Oh, don't you dare. We have to kill dudes to get health back, and we're gonna die. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Ugh. That doesn't count. You better... Oh, my god. I better be able to still... Yeah, there we go. That was gonna be a problem, because you have to take out ten droids to complete the objective as a Jedi. Boom! Eat shit. That's what you get. Oh, baby. Okay, so, is that, so, it's R1, so it's R2 to block. I was pressing R3 like an idiot. Oh, yeah. We can also force push. L2 and R2 to switch your abilities. Hey, Gene Ocean, get stabbed! Or at least get the ground close to you stabbed here. This is why I like doing it. Oh, fuck. Boom! Right on the fucking thing. Boom! One, two, one. Ugh, that's so cool. Oh, and took out two, two drugs with that, too. Ugh. Oh, fuck. I'm not doing the force pushing accident. Don't you touch me? Don't you? Ah, oh, fuck! You got a thing. I gotta find. Fuck! Someone, t someone tagged me in the back for real, dude. I'm rusty. Leave me alone. I'm normally better at this game. Even though I played this on PC for to get the footage for the for the freaking what's it for the for the trailer, which should be out by now. But uh, well, of course it's out by now. Oh fuck! Otherwise, I would have gotten this playthrough out faster. But still. Uh, get some. What did you get? We have to push the CIS back. Take over there. Oh, don't touch me. Gotta yeah, take out this bunker here. Oh boy. Oh boy. They can also roll too. Oh, they can also roll too, like that. Yeah, we just gotta hold the fort here. Just see. So oh, 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 right. Hints. My bad. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much all it said. Woo! Stay away from me. I have none of this hooligans. Oh boy. Fuck him up. You want something? Yo, let me tell you a secret. It's called a secret. Oh yeah. I think I got a double kill with that one. This game is so fucking awesome. Take this. Oh yeah! Woo! Aw, oh, I didn't get to pound the ground. That's fine. We did it. We got him real good. Victory! Oh yeah. 
Incredibly, the 501st survived the crucible of Geonosis, emerging battle-hardened and ready for whatever the war would throw at us. Oh yeah. Fucking better I'm fucking ready for this. Oh shit, killing spree public enemy. Number one! <laughs> I understand, gotta bring that back. 32 and, 68, 32, and 5. So those are points. So this, the star it means okay. First of all, that we're we're clearly not the separatists, as you can see the, on the, by those icons. That's pretty much the only issue. But uh, yeah, we also got the Nemesis SA three six four unit seven three nine seven Mace Windu with a lightsaber. Career stats. Oh yeah. We also got uh, yeah. So yeah, awards are still the same. We got points. We also got the capture a flag point because of the hologram. But uh, yeah, points uh, allow you to like. Uh, use different types of classes like usually the jet trooper is uh, unlockable through getting 12 points and Points give you like medals like endurance or guardian throughout the match which give you bonuses But uh since we are green as you can see here. We actually cannot use these until we get like four or five of them uh, so like we had until or, or until we start getting the award like normally as we continue to get these award these medals, but uh, they come in quite useful Every single one of them. I mean, KD ratio is obviously through the roof. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's still just the beginning, but still 32 and 5 so far. But uh, yeah, we're 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 pretty much in it to win it here. So, man, if you thought that performance was bad, though, you should see the other recording I tried to do of this, like not five minutes ago. Oh man, but well, that's the training. So uh, hopefully that uh, hopefully that does that uh. Hopefully that performance doesn't bode uh, any bad things for later on. Because we are in elite mode, I don't want to have to lower the difficulty. Just because I'm bad, I'm just rusty. But uh, yeah, now we prop now we go properly into the Rise of the Empire campaign. So new game. Oh yeah.